Dear viewers, Shoebe Medaro is here with a new lecture of the electrical machine subject and today's topic is the open circuit test of the transformer. This test of the transformer is used to determine the core losses in the transformer and this uh, topic uh, like your open circuit test of the transformer has been already covered in our experimental video series uh, of the electrical machines uh, lab series and you can find out that experiment from my uh, playlist of the electrical machines series lab okay and then now we are going to uh, discuss the theoretical aspects of that uh, open circuit test of the transformer and before that we are going to a little bit discuss the losses in the transformer that have been produced so what are losses in the transformer there are the two types of the losses the core losses and the copper losses which are to be produced in the transformer when the transformer is to be connected with the ac supply when the primary winding is to be energized from the main ac supply what happens the core is to be magnetized because of the magnetizing current uh, and mmf which is to be produced in the primary winding of the transformer so core losses and the iron losses are consist of the hysteresis loss and the eddy current loss hysteresis loss is that the phenomena of the magnetic flux density to the uh, uh, lagging behind to the cycle of the magnetization or the magnetizing force that is called as the hysteresis loss or when a piece of the magnetic material is subjected to the cycle of the magnetization where the bar is to be magnetized first in a one direction and to be magnetized into the in other direction and there there will be a molecule friction the opposition offered by the molecules uh, which are magnetic material molecules uh, to that uh, of opposition to the magnetizing force so the energy thus has been expanded to turning effect of that bar from one direction to another direction so that turning effect or that opposition which is to be uh, produced or to be offered by the magnetic uh, your poles so that can be called as the hysteresis loss so the, the that uh, energy that has been expanded to turn or to turn that material from one direction to another direction so what happened the, this loss can be produced into the form of the heat so that will be called as the hysteresis loss and second is that eddy current loss eddy current losses are the circulating currents which are to be produced in the core of the any electrical machine like here we are discussing about the core of the transformer so like the eddy current losses are being produced and that eddy current losses can be minimized or these circulating currents that are produced into the core because when the core is to be magnetized from the ac supply because magnetic flux is to be induced in the core or the creation of the magnetic flux is to be induced in the core of the transformer so what happened uh, what happened these eddy current losses are being produced and your eddy current loss are to uh, your uh, can be reduced by applying the thick thin laminations or a core is to be divided into the lamination so that uh, your eddy current loss can be minimized okay and hysteresis loss is also can be minimized by using the steel of which made of, of this high silicon means no, normally uh, uh, today's our electrical machines uh, cores like generator transformer and all the electrical machines core is to be uh, yeah, that loss hysteresis loss can also be minimized by using the silicon steel made core in any electrical machines nowadays okay so discuss the open circuit test of the transformer what is the open circuit test this test is to determine conduct to determine the iron losses or the core losses in the transformer and hence we are also going to be find out the parameters r naught and the x naught of the transformer okay so in this case the rated voltage is applied to the primary which is the applied to the usually low voltage winding in the open circuit test of the transformer the applied voltage is given to the primary winding means low voltage winding of the uh, transformer and high voltage winding of the transformer kept open circuited so let's see this diagram that this v1 is to be applied to the primary winding of the transformer which is our low voltage winding and this is the watt meter okay which will give us the power rating and this is the ammeter will give us the amount of the low load current which is to be flowing from the primary winding or the low voltage winding of the transformer okay open circuit test is always made on the low voltage winding so this has been clear why low voltage winding because open circuit test is uh, to be if the measurements which are to be if, if we are connecting the ac supply with the high voltage winding so what happened 
the voltage is to be high inconveniently high and the current is very small so this is not the suitable method so we are uh, conducting or we are uh, means uh, measure the amount of the no load current or all the measurements are to be taken or to be uh, measured uh, at the low voltage side and high voltage winding of the circuit uh, uh, high voltage winding of the transformer is kept open circuit okay so applied uh, applied primary voltage v1 is measured by the voltmeter and no load current i not is by the ammeter and no load power uh, which is the w not is to be measured by the voltmeter consider this diagram okay v1 we are given to the transformer okay this is the voltmeter which will give us the w not no load input power if we are connecting the voltmeter in parallel across the low voltage winding so this will give us the reading of the v not and this will give us the reading of the i not because the no load current when primary of the transformer when the low voltage winding of the transformer is to be connected with the uh, supply side what happened the no load current is to be uh, flowing from the transformer and that no load current is to be like your uh, divided by the two component of the current okay this i not for example is so uh, divide to be divided into the two component i w and i m so this is the core loss component okay i w is the core loss component and i m is the magnetizing component of current so here the no load current is to be divided into the two uh, currents the core loss component of the current and also the magnetizing component of the current so that magnetizing uh, component of the current links the both windings on the primary winding and the secondary winding of the transformer and hence what happened the phi m or the magnetic flux which is to be flowing from the transformer which has the which has the high constant magnitude because the uh, since the transformer are connected with the constant frequency and the constant voltage so what happen your frequency and both magnetic flux density is to be kept as the constant so hence the core losses or iron losses of the transformer is same at all loads at all loads because supply frequency that we are given to the transformer is the same one and voltage that at which the transformer is operated is the same one so your core losses are depend upon the supply frequency and also the magnetic flux density maximum flux density in the core so if both parameters are to be kept as constant so core losses which are to be determined by this open circuit test of the transformer is constant at all the loads which are connected with the transformer okay now and this high voltage winding is to be uh, your uh, kept open circuited okay now as normal rated voltage is applied to the primary means this v1 that we are going to apply to the primary winding of the transformer what happened therefore normal iron losses that are to be produced uh, in the car transformer core okay transformer core hence this watt meter will record the iron losses and small copper losses is to be produced in the primary and that are to be measured by this ammeter which is the no load current of the transformer since no load current i not is very small usually pay 2 to 10% of the rated current 2 to 10% of the rated current okay so hence the watt meter reading practically gives the iron losses in the transformer means this watt meter which is connected to the low voltage winding of the transformer it will give us the uh, your no load input power and iron iron losses which are to be produced on the low voltage winding of the transformer so here iron losses are the uh, which are to be read by our watt meter w not no load current i not which is to be read by the ammeter i not applied voltage that uh, to be measured by this uh, v1 uh, by this voltmeter okay so what will be the input power input power will be here w not which is to be read by the voltmeter what is the formula v 
I cos of phi means here applied voltage V1, no load current uh, to input to the transformer and no load power factor. From here, we can also easily calculate the power factor cos phi naught, no load power factor so that it will be the uh, division of that uh, uh, no load input power divided by V1 I naught. That is, then you can easily find out the no load power factor or cos phi from this uh, with the help of the formula. Okay. Now, what is already we have discussed this working component and magnetizing component of the current in our previous lecture. So, I W is the I naught cosine phi naught. So, this is this is the formula uh, that we have already covered in our practical transformer lecture, and also I M, which is the I naught sine phi naught. Okay, from here you can also easily find out the R naught resistance component. So, V one divided by I W, and also the reactance component. Okay, that will be. V1 divided by Rm. So, open circuit test of the transformer thus gives them no load input power, no load current, no load power factor, core loss component of the current, magnetizing component of the current, the resistance, no load, and the reactance component at the no load side. So, this was the uh, expert, uh, sorry, this was the lecture of the open circuit test of the transformer. I am going to summarize that uh, this open circuit test of the transformer is used to determine or conduct, uh, to, uh, to measure the iron losses or the core losses in the transformer. And uh, this transformer is to be, uh, th uh, this type of the test is to be conducted on the low voltage winding and high voltage winding according to the circuit diagram is kept open circuited. And uh, in this type of the test is used to measure the core losses or the iron loss in the transformer. Uh, so this was the today's uh, lecture. Uh, I hope that you have understand the today's lecture and at the last please uh, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Please hit the su subscribe button and hit the bell icon button to, uh, to see or to uh, uh, watch more videos related to the electrical engineering area and the electrical machines area. Thank you.